Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us acknowledge all our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have already seen in my thoughts and in my words what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous call. Therefore, I ask for the Lady of Mercy, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. Your mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, Grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading, from, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth, and there he met a Jew named Aquila, the native of Protea, who has recently come from Italy with his wife, Priscilla. Because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome, he went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, he stayed with them and worked with them, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered the discussion in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that Christ was Jesus. <coughs> Pardon me. When they opposed him and they reviled him, he shook off his garments and he said to them, Your blood be on your head. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and he went to the house. <clears throat> Belonging to a man named Tardis, Tardis Judas, Justice, a worshiper of God, his house was next to the synagogue. Cyprus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord, along with his entire household and many of the Corinthians who had heard him, they believed in him, and they were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. The Lord revealed, the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord, the Lord, Lord has revealed, revealed to his nation his saving, saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has been vic won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord, the Lord has revealed, revealed to the nation his saving power. The Lord has <coughs> made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has revealed. <clears throat> he has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed the nation of his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song and sing his praise. The Lord, the Lord has, has revealed to the nation his saving power. power. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you and 
And with your spirit, glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Today's gospel evokes mixed feelings of the sadness of separation and the hope of reunion. Jesus, knowing what was going to happen to him in the hands of Jews, had to warn his disciples of his impending absence from them. His physical death would separate him from his disciples. But he told them not to worry because his absence would only be for a short while. He will return and then they would see him again. Although the disciples were overwhelmed by the sadness of separation, they were given the hope of a reunion later. It is easy to be happy and believe that God is on our side when things go the way we want. But when we are faced with obstacles and difficulties, when our road is steep and the going is difficult, then we begin to wonder if God is on our side. Today's Gospel is a call to know that there will be joy even in the midst of pain and sorrow because Jesus promised his disciples that their grief, will, grief would become joy. My dear friends, let us also believe that God is on our side. Yes. In the name of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Amen. Let us raise all our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the church may be a refuge for those grieving the troubles of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That those who seek faith may have patience as they await the vision of God within them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. That those who rejoice may have care for those who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the pains and sorrow of sickness may give way to the joy of healing and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the dead in only a little while may behold the vision of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are suffering from coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. You can pray for your own personal intentions in silence. God of our salvation, though we see dimly, in a little, little while, we will behold the splendor of present joy. Sustain us on the journey of faith, that our grief may become joy in the fullness of time. For we live our reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For your praise and glory of his name, for I'm going to go for his holy church. May our praise rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And I'm with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift, lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But our time evermore to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the praise, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the pastoral joy, every line, Every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic force sing together the earthly hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Lord of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending the Holy Spirit upon the active for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, passing you the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in your one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with the friends of Pope. John, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the path of the resurrection, and all who are in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Our mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed word and may the Lord of God, with the blessed joys of your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may worry to be coerced in life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all destruction, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. I'm here to say, grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live our reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall be healed. For all those who cannot receive Jesus sacramentally, please join us in making the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. 
and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my soul. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us fall in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.